Hello and welcome. I told you I would be doing a walkthrough of The Walking Dead. I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna record it, and it's just for you, bro. So, enjoy or don't enjoy. I know I don't think you've ever watched the series, but, uh, or read the comic books. That's perfectly fine. Um, it's not completely a blind playthrough of The Walking Dead, because, well, I spoil myself too easily, but at the same time, I did watch it quite a while ago, so I'll have forgotten at least half the things that go on, which is okay. So I hope you will enjoy the series along with me, and I hope to post... I don't know. I'll keep posting until I finish it, but I don't know how quickly I will be posting these, so... Without further ado, we will get started. I'll try not to, uh, talk while other people are talking unless, well, I'll probably break that pretty quickly, but we will see. We will see. Mostly, the game is just an adventure with the story as the important part, so again, like I said, I'll try not to talk while they're relating the stories. Let's see, episode status. Oh, yeah. Got all the episodes and the DLC. Gotta make sure everything should be fine. We've got move character, choose dialogue, scroll. That's fine. That's fine. We should be good to go. We should be good to start. I don't know how long these episodes will be. It's, uh, it's currently about 5 o'clock, so I might do these in half-hour segments. I might do these in hour segments. I haven't decided. Um, each episode isn't particularly long, but it helps to break up the videos, mostly for YouTube uploading process ease. Well, anyways. Let's get started. Um... Everything should be fine. I tried running a few test videos before I got started, so the volume should be okay with everything. And if not, I will hope to change that by the second video. Sorry if I uh, breathe into the mic a lot. I will attempt to not do that. And we will go from there. Gonna go with standard. I like help. Episode 1, a new day, you meet these people, you are this guy. Episode 2, starve for help, still not managing to face the camera. Episode 3, a long road ahead. If you can actually manage to hit a zombie with a train, that zombie had it coming. Around every corner, no time left. And lastly, the 400 Days DLC, which leads into Season 2. Depending on how Season 1 goes, I'll probably be recording my playthrough of Season 2 as well, but one thing at a time. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. That is me in the back seat of a cop car. I think you see uh, going with the usual Bethesda route of character introductions. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. And I realize I need to turn on subtitles. So tell me, why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Well, officer, I probably did do it. But every time? Every time? Every time. Okay. 
seem like you've been on the force quite a while. No. Uh, calibrating my view. That's tweaky. I have to change the sensitivity. You being a making boy and all. If I'm making, then I do deliveries to making at my job every now and again. You're from making, then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the seventies. Making Georgia. Always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect, a real shame that is. Uh, Hell, I think I just broke my neck. Your family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Dude didn't even turn his shoulder. Sure is. Good. Subtitles. Tell me what's going on, please. All right. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Yeah, sure. It's a lot of sure. cops. Oh, I guess I don't really want to know what he thinks. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Or she married the wrong guy. <sighs> I, don't, I don't even remember what he did. Any of that seem important to me? All of them. That box never shuts off. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm not quite sure that's how they trained you. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Yeah, all right, fine. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. I hope you at least cleaned it. And before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's gotta stop. That's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Sad guy. Man. Man. <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, oh. stabbing his wife. I forgot to mention. The boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. There will be a content warning for show. People up and go gore, mad. violence, and language, which is over. completely typical of The Walking well, I got Dead. Another good one for I did not mention that when we started. This one's less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. What's this other time? Can't even go one day in Georgia without running in to someone with your car. Hey buddy, you don't look so hot. Sounds highly unpleasant. Thankfully, I slipped through the apocalypse. Oh, shit. Hope that's not all my dried blood. Although Thirsty. I guess that makes sense. Ah, fuck my leg. Got a busted leg and uh. Hey, hey, officer. Are you all right? I'm still cut back here. He's obviously not all right. We'll deal with that later. Ooh. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Uh, 
Oh, I broke my leg. Maybe he had to put me down. Oh, that w oh man. Oh, that is very sensitive. Okay. Thankfully, real cop windows are not this weak. But they will advise you to stop kicking the window if you do. I adamantly advise you. So, do not kick the window. Unless it's the zombie apocalypse. Drag myself out that window. Mm, grab. Get going. Ah. Gravity. Okay. Ooh. Like that man was just full of blood. Alright, move along the car. Get, uh, get going. Try not to. Try not to get bit. The officer's shotgun is over there. You know what? You're right. Yes, it is. Grab the ammo first. You're a clumsy man with one leg. I don't know anyone who wouldn't pick up the shotgun, but then again, that's just everyone metagaming the system. Obviously, I wouldn't know what a zombie apocalypse looked like. It would be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Yeah, that, that that might be true. At least you could put it up against your shoulder then. Officer? God damn. Officer? Maybe he just was taking a nap. And he uh, slept in some paint. Or jam. He really likes his strawberry jam. That must be what it is. Now he's just diabetic coma. We'll just let him. Let him sleep for a little while. Surely he won't mind a, uh... Shit. No. That's not a trap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No big deal. Just clumsy. Ah. He let me keep my watch at least. Oh, officer. Oh gosh. Holy shit. Not strawberry jam. Not diabetic. What in the hell? What the fuck are you? Uh. Get away from me. Uh. Well, at least now the shotgun comes in handy. Grab it. Grab it. Butterfingers. Pick it up. Granted, I would not know how to load a shotgun. Aim for the face. Close enough. Oh, jam everywhere. Okay. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. Well, I. Okay, well, uh, that's, uh, hello? Hey, go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Smooth. Hmm. Yes? My old friend, Phil. Hey, Phil. Ah. We can talk later, Phil. Gotta go. Okay, a little bit of frame rate issues right now, but I can't tell if that's from the game or my recording software. By the way, not a big deal. No one grabbed my legs. No one grab. Okay, good. Ooh. 
wooden fences. Zombies one weakness. Granted that looks Okay. Well. Saved by the other person in mortal peril. Keep yourself strong. You're gonna need to get through this. Hello? Anybody? Keep your voice down. First rule of a... Uh, okay, there we go. First rule of a zombie apocalypse. Draw little attention to your gimp self. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. That was a completely useless no ladder sentiment I'm not getting up there anyway this leg way it is Help! I, I imagine a treehouse would actually work quite well for a zombie apocalypse unless we're talking World War Z those guys climbed walls Gonna limp around to the street. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. You know, I don't know about you, main character, but I always lock my glass door. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Or don't. In fact, preferably do not yell whatsoever. The noise attracts them. I wonder if anybody's home. Can't take a look inside. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hmm. Not locked. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? This is Georgia. That is not a guarantee. Again, if this were me, I would walk right back outside. A bowl of fruit. It's fate day. Ah. Decorative kitchens. Curse you. Unicorns, unlike zombies, actually do exist. Oh, Jesus. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Is there something he can do to help you, main character? Gonna limp around the house. Gonna look at the kids' God. paintings. A kid lived here. Uh, usually we just stick him on the refrigerator. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? I don't know about you, but you just shot a cop in the face. Uh, cables out. Wouldn't be surprised the whole neighborhood's deserted with what's been going on. What's that beeping? Yeah, I know what that beeping is. Let's check the kitchen first. Butterfeet. Ah, a little bit of gore all over you now with footprints leading to that. This can only be a good thing. Hmm. Random walkie-talkie. Might as well. Never know when that might come in handy. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. But by who? Certainly oh. not me. Hmm. The Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Speaking of babysitter... Responsible babysitter would still be here. She would 
I've never let the uh, child of the house out of her sight. Rain, snow, or zombie apocalypse. Kind of like the postal service, really. For all you know, there could have been paintbrushes in that and stuff. Alright, now we can check the phone. Maybe there's something on there. I'm gonna stop doing that, because he is quite obviously a master of the Maybe obvious. Maybe there's something on there. And I did it again anyways. Alright. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before you Clementine break. is usually the name you give Message dead girls. Two, Just saying. PM. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling I mean, famously, us anything anyways. about Atlanta. Also, please, delicious oranges. Please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Marietta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. As with everything else in this series, you should not really expect a happy anything. Just saying that ahead of time. Daddy? Huh? Hello? Uh, yeah, sure. You need to be quiet. Seriously, dude, stop with the yelling. Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Oh, smart. Clever girl. Um... What's, what's your... What's your name? Actually, I think I already know. I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. You're the orange I'm girl. Me. So, where, where are your parents? Your parents? But wait, no, I already know that too. I keep asking the stupidest questions. In Savannah, I think, where the boats are. Uh, you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. Yes. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hello. <laughs> oh, responsible babysitter. Uh, get off of me. Butterfeet. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, gosh. Don't punch a zombie. It's a great way to get bit. Uh, get off of me. Get off of me. Uh, punch you in the face. Back off. Eh. Back off. Grab the hammer. Hammer time. This was a job. Well done. Sorry you had to go that way. Oh, adventures in babysitting. Man. Okay. Hi there. I just killed your baby, Sid. Oh, okay. Did you kill it? Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, I think so. I don't know. I think so. Yes, you best remember Sometimes that. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. Understandably. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Um, I think that might be a little while, you know? 
I yeah. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Well, what should we do now? Let's, uh, let's, yeah, it's we not safe when the sun goes down. It gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Smart girl. Let's go. Zombies Stay can see you whether it's day or night, so it's usually better that you can see them too. No point really, little girl. You left it unlocked. Alright, what's uh oh, sorry. Big guy can't go that fast. Got a bum leg. Soccer game of eighty nine. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's get going. Hey, dudes. Not zombie Man. dudes. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. As opposed to cold dish night. I can understand your pain, gentlemen. I can understand your pain. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? Or should I go? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I'll just let you know. If you go, there will be trouble. I won't leave you alone. But well, no. Let's go Responsible me says. Close, okay. That's gotta gotta idea. bring her with. There's zombies about, and I got plot armor, probably. Hey man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna <laughs> eat you. I may be covered in gore. Yeah. For a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. So, uh, we're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. Okay, oh, so it's everywhere. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. And main character is named Lee. I'm Chet. I probably didn't pick that up earlier. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family. She and my daughter. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um, Honesty is usually the best policy. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Sorry. Let's get going. Well, I mean, Stay wait. For two I'm right here, state. dude. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Uh. Lee, quick. Let's go. Wait, you're gonna make the guy with the bad leg push. All right, fine. There you go. I get it, cause that other guy was obviously weak if they couldn't get this moving. Ah, uh, my weak leg. Thank you. I could use the help. Come on, go, go. Oh, the zombie's got some sweet mullets. You saved a bunch of lives today. You best remember this, some guy. He gonna change the world. In your charge. You can see by the achievement unlocks that I actually haven't done this before. But that's okay. You know, I would actually hate to have a cornfield in a zombie apocalypse because you cannot see anything coming through those. Like if you watch signs. Or Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a slip. No sweat. She's probably gonna eat I'll you, dude. You night. Just just it was saying. Nice to meet you both. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. 
Your boy is a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. Ouch. So it's just you and your daughter, then? She, oh, uh... He, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. That makes me sound like a pedophile. Do you know this man? Yes. You're a okay. terrible liar, Clementine. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, it's yeah. not a bite, I swear. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Good thing to know he answered for me, because uh, apparently I can't speak for myself. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. I can't tell. Could be worse, actually. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. He is actually from the comic series. So, um, this slash TV show. It actually was a car, car accident. accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Uh, apparently out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. The news is You're wrong. Guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Again, nice honesty. Good policy. Oh, nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. And we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Good goal. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. You're a fool, old man. I don't know man. what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. You don't swear in front of the kids, boy. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. There was... Dead I saw cop. A cop come back from the dead. I also happened well, to shoot his head. I think you should. We got plenty of At least he's been resting easy now. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Might be preferable to well, aim for the head. Redress it and you'll be fine. Oh, well, okay. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Thanks, and old barn, man. Where you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Good plan as any. All right then. To the barn. Good old hay. It smells like... Ah, uh, manure. There's a proper term for these things. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Yes. Just like that. We're going to expand your vocabulary, Clementine. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Several miles. Oh. Okay. From this imaginary place. You know, that's a good way to wake up with a bad neck. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Hey, get up. Once again, sweet mullet. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not, not a dad. Name's Lee. 
I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fish. Kenny. There's a tractor and everything. Your kid looks like an we idiot. better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, I mean, Ken sorry. Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? I really hope that's, that's not how he got his nickname. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Oh. Dad! I'm not uh, alone in that opinion, then. with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. What's that supposed to mean? I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Doug, Ain't alone this in this decision. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, well she is she adorable. Work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. That is on not what a foreman does. Cool! Duck Except when he does. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Ah, I can walk now. I can walk. What's up, you little girl? A nice time with Katya Clementine. Yeah. You haven't said a word yet. Is my company really that bad? I'm. I'm sorry. Hey there, girls. Um, so how was the city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some just... Ooh, just... ouch. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Mm. Yeah, Anybody actually. In the right mind would. Families and barbecues and prisons, even. Friends. Probably better than All this. Of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those guns, what's the point? Well, obviously, uh. So, what so, do you do? Uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. That will be handy. Here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. I am a scholarly gentleman. We can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, no, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Well, you, you two, two actually... actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, oh so she's uh, like, how what, that? seven? It's easy. Well, yeah. So no, that can't be right. Good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, huh? Back in a bit. Yeah, give okay. it a second. Well, anyway. I will have to stop it here, and I will get back to it later. So, thank you all for enjoying the episode. And uh, I will be sure to continue this. Take care.